Hey fishing freaks, how y'all doing today? I bet it's cold where you are, unless you're living in like Florida or South California or something like that. Guess what, in Texas it is colder than Hillary Clinton's soul. <laughs> and uh, we're not going fishing today because that's just too cold. Some of you may be saying, LFG, it's not really cold. You're down in Texas, man. It's only like in the upper 20s or 30s. Still, that creates hard water. And plus, it's all relative because our fish are used to being in like 50 degree temperatures and it just dropped down into the 20s. So that's gonna leave a mark. I did get to go out the other day and experience something really interesting. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it here. Pulling Cinco's out of a fish's rectal cavity. Yeah, he was not having a good day, but uh, we saved him uh, from a lot of discomfort. And you know, it's the natural right thing to do. If I see an animal walking around with something that's not supposed to be hanging out of its butt, I'm gonna try to help it out. I mean, as a general rule, I try to stay away from animals' butts, but you know, in that case, uh, Go ahead and help a, help a fish out. So instead of going out and freezing to death, maybe catching one or two fish, hanging out with AKA Ocean Spoon Girl today, and uh, she is all up in the notes right now. What are you doing? Um, organizing my own recipes. <laughs> Not fun for guys, it's... sorry guys. <laughs> Actually, I've been organizing all day today too. Uh, I got a new computer. I'm just gonna go off on a little rant right here for a second, so bear with me. But uh, I got the exact same setup right here as I, 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 bought, I bought a MacBook Pro like four or five years ago. And I ended up getting the exact same one again, just a newer model. Apple freaking made the new MacBook Pro with like no ports on it. I mean, it's, it's a pro MacBook and how are you not going to put any ports on it for like professional photographers and videographers to put their stuff on the dang computer anyways ended up getting the same thing it's a little bit faster though so we're going to be pumping out the vids and the stuff a little bit faster so it's all it's all good but i've been organizing all that you know how it is you get a new computer or phone or whatever and spending all day on that and i am cooking as well i want you to come check this out that right there is a daggum big green egg i love this thing and it's really good for uh, cooking big slabs of meat. So I got up real early this morning and I started cooking a slab of meat on here at 7 a.m. And it's a pork butt, Boston butt. And I lathered that sucker. I don't even, I'm not gonna reveal it just yet. I, I gotta put some foil on it. I'm gonna get in there in just a second, but that's what we're having for dinner tonight. If you never cooked on a big green egg, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty dang awesome. Um, I need you to taste test this. Alright, what am I taste testing before not, I put it in my mouth? I'm not going to tell you, you just got to tell me. What does it taste like to you? Lemon poppy seed, but it's not real fluffy. It's not real fluffy? It's kind of like um, lemon poppy seed oatmeal, if I could. Tell Is me, because that hurts my feelings. <laughs> well, were you about to say that makes sense? No. Dang. Should have said it tasted like rainbows and lollipops. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys a lesson in uh, marriage right now. Um, whatever you taste, it tastes good and delicious, okay? I'm gonna try another bite. And this time, I'm. that was like a palate cleanser. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> so this is, and I really, I prefer to do this something like with milk, but look at these little buns. What would you call these? Um, they're little bunt cakes. Bunt cakes? Bunt cakes. Bunt cakes, all right, let's. Let's get some bunt, some bunt cakes. It's actually really good. Keep in mind, there's there's no gluten in it. It's just, it's no flour. It's gluten free. So I guess that makes it healthy. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> That's her department. But it is really good. It's moist and it's delicious. It's tasty. You did a good job, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just saying that? No. Check on my butt. My Boston butt. I'm gonna reveal this right now. I haven't looked at it since 7:30 a.m. this morning. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Look at that sucker. 
It's got that nice little crusty glaze on it. You guys want to see something else really cool? That is monitoring the probe inside of the butt. Now that sounds weird, but uh, that thing's gonna fall off the bone at 195 to 200 degrees. We're behind the scenes at the Healthy Chew. Hello. Oh, uh, that's them bunt, the bunt cakes. Don't they look good? They look good. Let's see how Hello. Stephanie does her, her photos. <laughs> You can follow, follow her at the Healthy Chew on the Instagram and you can see these beautiful creations. You saw it here first, behind the scenes. I don't know about you guys, but when I am stuck inside for, you know, even like a few days and I'm not in the outdoors, I hate it. I can't imagine if some of you are like snowed in for days and weeks at a time and can't go fishing except for a little hole in the ice. I don't know how you guys do it. So I've been just like working on tackle basically and getting stuff ready. And I got these uh, uh, grid wall and I'm gonna use that to hang up like two or, uh, so I'm gonna use that to hang up tools and lures and different things like that. And I also got this really cool thing. I saw this on uh, Mr. Tackle Box's Instagram. Actually, Stephanie saw it. And she was like, oh my gosh, you need this. So um, I asked them about it and they sent me one. And this is a Cobra um, garage door storage solution. I don't know if you can see the little picture on it right there. So I gotta install that sucker on my garage, especially a rod rack that goes on your garage. And then you can store rods on it, which is what I need because I've got them in all corners of my garage, I even got them inside. I've got some bigger ones in my office I want to move out here because they're really just taking up space. They're like big offshore rods and reels. So I'm gonna be doing a review on that thing on the uh, on the Mystery Toggle Box channel. So you guys stay tuned for that because that, that'll be a cool, cheap solution to get rid of uh, or get, get your rods and reels out of the way, get them out of your wife or spouse's whatever you're doing get them out of their hair because, you know, it takes up space. And... Okay, our meat is ready. It's not intended to be a cooking channel here, but with, uh, with meats like that, you never know. Oh my gosh. That's seriously just like, it's like butter. Oh, right. That pulled pork was delish, guys. You missed out. And Stephanie made some kind of nut, nut mac and cheese. Nut it wasn't cheese. Mac it was and macaroni cheese. and cheese, but there was no cheese. It was macaroni and nut nut sauce. Sweet potatoes and nutritional yeast. It really wasn't that great. No. Don't recommend it. So if you're gonna do mac and cheese, just do mac and cheese. Just do like Easy Mac or something. No, maybe not Easy Mac. <laughs> so just been hanging out with the fam all day. Just kind of wanted to bring you guys along. Um, Stephanie is actually moving moving out. Tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so I wanted I'm to- I'm leaving. I didn't want you guys to like think <laughs> something was crazy going on. Like, oh my gosh, what this moon girl is like, Moving out for good? Are they are they getting divorced or what? No, it's time it's time for a little rant session. I'm going on some rants today. Stephanie is finishing up her internship, and she's doing it through uh, Texas A and M. Pretty much all the university does is take your money, mm -hmm. and it's a big fat check. You, uh, yeah, we're taking our money. She goes around to all these different places, like you've been in, uh, in Temple. Uh, yeah, you've been in hospitals, you've been in VAs, you've been in like government facilities. Outpatient uh, clinics, I've been in counseling, I've been... Not once have you been inside the university, right? No, not once. Yeah, they just take your money and then you travel around and work for free at these other places and it's like a it's nine to five job. Labor. Yeah, it's a slave. It's slave labor. I don't even know how they expect you to to live in these other places. Luckily, we have family in these other cities. She's staying with 
Papa and Mama LFG and uh, her parents. We still have to pay for a room and board. We still have to pay our own gas. I mean, I've put on so many miles on my car. And it leaves Winston in a pickle because I've got to go film, you know, just about every day. I've got to go somewhere and, and film something if it's not for this channel or, or for somebody else. So, you know, he's stuck here or he's stuck with, with her and she's going to work. So he's got grandparents. Our parents are taking care of him, which sounds ridiculous. Like he's a kid or something. He kind of is a little kid. He he's like a little fat kid. He loves, he's a little toddler. loves jerky. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update and just rant on that a little bit. I think it's ridiculous. Let me know in the comments if you have anybody in your family that's doing that and has to go through that because I don't know how they expect you to do that. It's crazy, especially for a married gal like Ocean Spoon Girl. I was going to say, most of the interns are like just graduated and they're not married. They don't have a family. I'm going to be gone for like three months. Yeah, you've been in this for how long now? Uh, about five months. Five months, and and now she's really like like moving out, like going to live with the parents, which sucks for a married couple. It does. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be obviously uh, on the road traveling while she's gone, and uh, we're gonna be spending more time with you guys while she's not here. So. You may not see her as much, but you're gonna get more of me, which is what you really wanted, right? No. We all want more Winston. Everybody wants more Winston. Yeah. Look at that face. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to this little family vlog today. If you got questions, comments, leave them in the section below. You can go check out her blog, too, thehealthychew.org. .org. And you can go follow her Instagram if you wanna see photos of food, mostly. And me. And if you want to check out more fishing, stay tuned to the end of this video. Click the annotation link. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, fishing freaks.